in European relations. And those are the three things that we are holding on to daily. And so. But um, I want to say something also with this book, um, with this quiz. Um, I think if, even if you did the research, you still will find out you're still a slave. Because it was this one question, would you whip your kids? And she talked about how that came from slavery. But somebody told me that didn't come from slavery. So that's kind of like, I don't know if you could kind of touch on that. I mean, I don't. My brother broke my camera. I, I love that camera because I got to film and take pictures and do research in the community. It, it meant a lot to me. Now the the uh, I, I, I well average, I say average, or some people may have reacted and hit their child. Why? It's not like he didn't. He he's six years old. He ain't drop it and start kicking it. Or kids are curious. They're curious about things. So hitting them, they like. What 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 you hitting me for? They trying to learn, so I don't, I you know, I I don't think hitting I don't think hitting is solution. But that don't mean you let your kids run all over you. But hitting them, hitting them, hitting them ain't no solution. Do you know the historical context of whipping your children? Could um, I, could I interject? Like a bug. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, see, some of the, some of the things I think. Like, uh, when you are living in a, a white society, a Western society, all of the. Uh, Questions and things are, are not concerned, are not black issues. Uh, homosexuality is, is not a black or an African issue. That's a white issue. Femininity and all that is not a black African issue. That is a white issue. Beating your child is a white issue, and abuse is a white issue. We live in a white society, so we're confronted with that. Mm -hmm. That's why you're still a slave. What you must do is learn about how to be black, to know who you are and what your history is about, and you won't be confronted by it. So when you said that, are you still a slave? We still think white. You see what I'm saying? The trick is, when you learn yourself, your history, who you are, then those problems won't be confronted with you. So we still dealing with white issues. You know, because we live in a white society. So what I think we trying to do by learning your history, where you come from, uh, your way of thinking, you find out it's different from the Western uh, thought. African thought is different. And that's a whole different thing. We haven't been taught because we were brought here and we were taken from our culture. We don't have an African culture. Very few people know about African culture. Mm -hmm. So that is a whole because we don't have African institutions to teach us. We're taught by oppressors and our slave masters with the education. So the trick, the thing is now, that's why these brothers are doing research, so you can learn information about your culture. You see what I'm saying? But so, do you think women came from the white man? Do you think that's when we got that, you know, all you did is tell them to go get that spark off the tree and whip your butt over this tension cord? You know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I, you know what? Uh, you're going back into the history of ancient Egypt, you know, and our African ancestors. There was always a certain form of discipline that was established in the uh, black family and the black society. Uh, the type of uh, abuse that we see happening today uh, in the black community, and I witnessed some of it uh, just the other day on the west side, where just a uh, lady just went totally off on a little, little child for simply walking across the street and tripping oh, over wow. uh, a, a piece of rock. Mm. You understand what I'm saying? Uh, uh, most of the type of abuse that we're experiencing today is a derivative from the slave plantation. Mm -hmm. And we've had certain scholars such as, uh, I mean, Dr. Wells, Naeem Akbar, and, and various others, uh, so, uh, also right here in Chicago, Sister Samila Abdullah is an expert on the uh, genetic effects of slavery. There's some scholars that are saying that certain things that we're doing to one another and to ourselves today, it passes down from one generation to another on a genetic basis. You understand what I'm saying? But uh, I think uh, what we have to understand, again, going back to the earlier point that I made, that in our African tradition, we always had uh, 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 the tradition of some type of discipline 
of our youth, of our children. And then we cannot get away from that. We cannot, uh, uh, in following the Europeans, because there's another side to the Europeans in which they don't discipline their children at all. You yeah. see mm -hmm. certain talk shows mm -hmm. over Winfrey where yeah. uh, an out-of-pocket child, white child, is cursing their, their parents right on public television. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And they, the parents sit there crying like a little baby, like they don't know what to do. Yeah. You understand? Mm -hmm. So we have to be very careful that we don't fall into that trap in refusing to discipline black children because in discipline our black children that also contributes to their spiritual moral and cultural growth it seems to me that that's exactly what they want to do they want to bring us to our level where our kids will be out of order it's a conspiracy and since we are so powerful as organisms on the planet, we can't afford to have our kids just putting out negative energy and just doing whatever they want to do because the world would just go down even faster than it already is. Well, what about you go to jail now? What about that part? Go to jail now and hit your kids. That's not an issue. I'm concerned about Yeah. You know, with Dr. LeBru, uh Joy LeBru, she got a, she came up, she's a, uh, she came up with a post-traumatic slave syndrome time. Mm -hmm. Um, I recall when I was young, when my mama used to get it, get it, and we, me, me and my brother do something bad, she'd tell us, go get them little green branches, you know, off little, the tree. Off the tree, mm -hmm. boy. That she, was a tradition. She, yeah. That's so, a little bit of family, right? Yeah, and so that was, that, that, from slavery. Yeah. From slavery. Yeah, you, you really got to take it back to slavery. That, that's the root of it. Uh, it goes back to, to, to missing, miss, missing father, mm -hmm. you know. Fathers are taken away from the front from the family as soon as we as soon as we hit playing rock, you know, playing rock at us, you know. But uh, the thing is, is, is it was I remember, I remember you know my, my, my uncles and my, my my grandmother telling me that you know mother say something if if, if child didn't listen father just stepped in the room and, and child's to deal whatever needs to be done. You know, which is the purpose of a man. Exactly. But since we don't have that element in, in, in our neighborhood, specifically the families, yeah. that's where the discipline, yeah. you know, is lacking. Mm -hmm. So it, it, it starts from slavery and it starts from the missing fathers and it starts from young men growing up making sure that we take care of that responsibility. Yeah. I, I think I just say I think we better let the brother finish. From that we see that we are still uh, slaves. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're trying to get free. Yeah. Um, and inside of this book was just a, a list of uh, things that we demanded uh, during slavery. Um, one was fair pay for, the, for our labor, better housing, proper access to medical care, education, for our own education, um, a safe, fair, free environment to live in, protection from brutality, opportunity to work, Protection for their women and children, political representation, and an end to uh, sub subjugation, um, subjection. Excuse me. Um, four centuries later, these are the things that we asking for. Well, you know, we we might as well bump it up to 2009 to today. Um, a job, the economy, uh, better housing, Medicare, health care, education for our children. A uh, fear free environment where we ain't got to worry about gangbangers uh, wanting, wanting to uh, mess up our community, the police. I was, the on, four, I, I was on Fullerton and Kimball um, Wednesday, Wednesday evening. A police car with four guys in it. They had pulled up, they did a U turn. It was a, a man and a woman right there. Um, I don't know what they were saying. I was from a distance, but I saw them. They were reckless. So they came, they did another U turn. They pulled up in front of me. What's up? What up? What up? What up? Like this? I'm like, I looked. I'm like, man. I said, oh. I said, hey, hey. What are you? No, I waved. I was upset, but all I could do is wave. And I'm like, wow. I, you know, and I call. I called my brother, and he's like, man, why you ain't get that number? Da -da. I'm like, you know, what? I wasn't even thinking about that. My blood was just rushing through my body, but uh, I got to maintain my composure because I got bigger things than uh, than that to worry about. So that police brutality is still there. Um. We still trying to get equal uh, opportunity in the workplace. The black uh, power imperative speaks on that. Theodore Cross, he speaks on that very well. 
um, protection for our, our women and children, uh, political representation, just because Obama in office, if, if ain't nobody heard yet, you just got a million